why not, but this is on a drunk LP. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The forest area. See, this is why I like about this game as well. They got different kind of. Oh god. Not that. That's not what I don't like. <laughs> I don't like crashing into other bikes. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guy, for doing that to me. Oh, maybe I'm not alone. Someone else crashed a loop bike. I believe it was on either on this track or it was a, a future track that, do you know what actually, I might actually just do these sessions on the championship each, so there'll be five sessions, just to be on the safe side because I don't want my program crashing again like that. Plus you'll get to see a bit of fail as well. So I'm really hoping that the third time is a charm here when it comes to recording this. And to make sure the game is playing properly. I don't think that was the PS3 causing issues with the game. I think it was just a general thing. You're damn right as a rocket and you just let the rocket get put out. <laughs> Yeah, he uses more of my steering as well. This is the kind of trouble I was having with it in previous races. Well, sometimes he used a bit of a, too much of the steering going to either the right or the left. And then I ended up crashing on the left hand side, the right hand side of the, uh, the track. Checkpoint. Still going to be prepared if there's any crashes going to happen. It could even happen during this race. Yes. Okay. Right. No crash. Good. Oh, speaking of crash, not the crashing of games. Crash Bandicoot. I mentioned this in my commentary for the first attempt as well before it got unceremoniously uh, rejected because of the crash on, on the first attempt uh, or the freezing on the first attempt to maybe like put in specific. Uh, I mentioned about those rumours that Crash had been uh, bought by Sony. Now unfortunately, I mean as much as I would have liked for that to happen, I was all excited but then I learned that Activision still currently hold the Crash Bandicoot license, I was like, ah, well that's a bummer then. That's what I was like. So, I've no idea what they're going to do with the Crash Bandicoot games, although Activision have stated that they want to bring Crash Bandicoot back. Now, a lot of people say, um, leave Crash Bandicoot alone because, well, he's past his glory days now. Well, to be honest with you, maybe Activision were biding their time. Maybe they shouldn't, like, maybe they're planning to release a a PS4 exclusive of Crash game, like, well, I don't know if they'd be allowed to do that, but and maybe I have to make it multi-platform. I'm not sure what they're planning on doing Activision with the Crash license, but what I'm hoping they either do is a racing game for Crash Bandicoot. But to be quite honest with you, I quite like a an adventure racing game. Oh God damn it! Crashed again, and I ended up flying all the way over to the other side of the track. <laughs> Failure. What I'd like to see, and I didn't mention this in my first attempt, is uh, an adventure game, but also a racing game, not like Crash Tag Team Racing, or maybe similar. Except you don't unlock tracks during the adventure game, you actually get uh, an add-on racing special for online. Now could you imagine that, a race, Crash Racing game online? That'd be amazing. And imagine the amount of players coming on just, like, either being the, well not being the hell out of each other but being each other with TNTs, nitros, missiles, bombs.
You had to hold it in there for the corner. That's a pretty tight corner there. Yeah, I've got to be very careful when it comes to crashing as well, because again, I don't want to fall off my bike and fly over the way to the other side. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to use this uh, recording, what I'm doing right now, is just for one championship procession. That's what I'm going to do, that's actually more structured that way, to be honest. Perhaps, uh, perhaps the, the software is telling me, Oh, I can't handle the disorganization, the championships, I'm crashing. I was like, okay, thanks a lot, you've actually just prompted me to actually be more organized. I see if it crashes again, for me being organized, I'll be like, Make up your goddamn mind! That's what I'd be like. Oh, technology. You, 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 either, you either love it or you hate it. Technology, I mean, it's useful and it's not useful. That's just why I think of technology in general. It's either useful or it isn't. It can be useful at some points, but it can be not useful at certain points as well. Okay, and we are done. Well, not done with the championship, but I think we're halfway there. Good. I was like, don't you dare. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing that every time just as a heads up. Because I don't want this crashing again. So that way I can maybe get like five sessions done for uh, each track. So I think it'll be approximately half an hour per session. Alright, Cloverleaf. That's pretty. That's pretty clever name actually, because I think I saw that the the shape of the track or the design of the track was like a clover leaf. So pretty clever, pretty clever name. Right. Uh, you see, I'm hoping it doesn't crash because, like, if it does crash, then I've lost all the data. Now, alternatively, I could save in between the tracks, but. I don't want to do that because if I end up losing the uh, the file, like due to my computer crashing, I'll have to redo it all over again. One, go. Okay, now, pretty much this track is the same as the first one. Similar, not the same, but similar to the first one. Except it's all, well, snowy. That's the only main difference between this track and the first track. And that lyric in the background of that one uh, is saying um, Motor Racer. So basically this is the main theme of Motor Racer 2, this track. Okay good, I didn't crash in the tunnels this time around. I always remember as a child I was like either unaware of the tunnels or I really wasn't being careful in the tunnels at that one point. And I just didn't slow down, but I did there. I saw it bounced off the wall, but it didn't, didn't incapacitate me in any way. Well, not incapacitate, but like it didn't knock me off uh, the superbike. I think that's really not much else to say, but about Crash Bandicoot, I mean, I don't know what Activision should do with it personally, but I think they should do one more Crash game and that's it. No more. Because honestly, I don't want Crash Bandicoot to end up looking like Sonic in the way. Because like, for Sonic, I know the Sega really got like a high priority on, like, on the Sonic franchise, but like the, the most recent game that, that, that just came out for it, Sonic Lost World. I've heard there's been pretty bad reviews about the game on me, well, well not that the, the reviews were bad, or well, maybe IGN, but I've seen like, who's the guy, Andude92 his name is, I recently just came across him, and he reviewed Sonic Lost World, and he was pretty legit with his review, even though like, like I've seen some gameplay footage of Sonic Lost World, and I was like, 
Oh, this doesn't look too bad, I guess. I mean, that's why I was like. But then, when I saw that, like, that the you know, those creatures from Sonic Colors returned in Sonic Lost World as well, and um, it was like, yeah, I was like, that's better for not really creative there on Sega's part or Sonic Team's part or whoever the developer was. I know that Sega published it. Normally, I know they normally publish the Sonic games, but. I'm over I overlapped one of the uh, more cyclists already. Well done. Right, please. Thank you. I'm always so scared to actually press that hex button in case it freezes. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, so we're gonna go to the. Oh, you're coming first, it's worth 10 points. Oh, well, you get one point for coming last, but. Alright, the quick. Uh, the the shape of the track is nothing special, it's sort of like, it's sort of like a square in a way, except it's all, well, well, it's not a perfect square, but it's wiggly, a wiggly square, that's what that is. It's like quick square meal for breakfast, <laughs> or lunch, or whatever. But uh, I don't know why they called that the quick. I'm, I'm still trying to think why they did that, or maybe the track is just quick. Maybe oh, I don't know why I was thinking of, of a square meal. I mean, yeah, because of the, excuse me, because of the track. All right. Three, two, All right. one. Three more races away from completing this championship, and I really hope that it doesn't crash. I think after I'm done recording this, I'm going to take a look at the disc and see what's up with the disc. Because if it crashed like that, I'm going to have to see what is wrong with this. Well, outside of recording sessions, I might still end up testing this game on like either this on the PS3. Well, not not recording it, but like. Uh, on the PS3 off screen, or even on uh, my PS2. See if it works on there. If it performs better on PS2, I might as well just play it on there, although to be honest, I'm just going to have to be a lot more editing to be done because of the, the small screen. That's what I don't like about recording on PS2, unless there's a, an alternative way to record that on PS2 without a small screen. It just depends on the TV that you have as well. Like the TV that I have to play the PS2 on, it's not a big TV. It's so it's a small TV. It's like a 19-inch LCD TV. But still, I guess the job done for recording. Though, I mean, that's the main thing. But you just need to do some additional editing. I think I was lucky that I did a brief wheelie there because if I did do a full full-on wheelie at Adam, then. I'm, I would have ended up crashing into him, and uh, either I would have fallen off, or he would have fallen off, or both of us would have fallen off. More than likely, it probably would have been both of us. Oh no. Now I remember on this track as well, my first attempt on this, I came, <coughs> excuse me, I came first, uh, uh, briefly, in a split second. And yet, the, the track still said I ended up being second place. So I was like, okay, well, what exactly is going on here? So I think I ended up being second place all in all. So I think the game kind of didn't calculate that correctly. Oh god. I can hear them, they're right behind me. Oh god, come on. I know I can do this. You get a lot more time added onto these tracks as well, which is actually pretty generous. Because in the first one, it was quite difficult to get a time. Especially if you're doing really badly on some tracks, it, it would have been pretty difficult to... Oh, and another thing as well that I didn't explain, which probably didn't really need explanation, is that if the clock reaches zero, obviously you lose. 
you'll end up running out of time and your bike will be brought to a standstill and that's it, the race is over. <laughs>